coming to Berkeley from Jamaica. It was a big jump, but it was one I was glad I made. I never thought I'd be able to go into a different country completely and feel at home. I never initially wanted to leave Jamaica. I was born, grew up, all my friends there. But one of my uh, mother's friends had a son who studied abroad and he just came back with a completely different worldview. And my parents convinced me they wanted the same for me. So the search began for the perfect university abroad. Everywhere from Cambridge, all the UCs, got accepted to Berkeley. I decided Berkeley was the best place because no matter what I studied, it would be top notch. Since coming to Berkeley, I've had the opportunity to be a part of so many communities. I've been able to participate in slam poetry. I've been a part of the Cal Triathlon team. I lived at the African American Theme House. I have been part of two fraternities, an international service fraternity, as well as a social fraternity. And best of all, I'm a campus ambassador, so I get to share all of this with everyone who visits the campus. We'll be walking throughout the entire campus for about an hour and a half. If you have any questions... The reason we call ourselves campus ambassadors and not just tour guides is because we truly do more than just leading tours. We are ambassadors for the campus, whether it's visitors or members of the community itself. I always get a ton of questions from prospective students about how welcoming Berkeley can be, especially with so many students, 37,000 students. All the way to San Francisco and see the golden... And I'm glad I can speak from experience. It's a completely welcoming place. Um, we have so many opportunities, hands reaching down to help you out and just getting you acclimatized. My time at Berkeley has been so transformative. One of my favorite parts about being a campus ambassador is being able to share that experience with anyone who visits. 